Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Expert to Authority show. My name is Simone Vincenzi. I'm your host, and this is the show for coaches, speakers, and trainers who want to grow their businesses while making an impact in the world. And today, we are talking about uh, revamping your business, revving up your business. Uh, we're going to have a conversation It's going to be very important about network and how to build the right network, the importance of your network in your business and how you can accelerate your growth through your network, and as well as how you combine personal development and your business growth and what role they play with each other. Uh, now, the reason why I'm doing this particular interview and I'm going to introduce our guest in a moment is because uh, uh, I'm going to be a speaker at the Revamp Your Business Revamp event which is going to happen in the Midlands. So make sure you check out the link in the show notes where you can find out more about all the, uh, the event, Rev Up Your Business Revamped. So check it out. The link is in the show notes. Uh, now, um, let me welcome the marketing genius, the super connector, incredible strategist, uh, and also GDEX marketing coach, Caroline Sylvia Rag. Caroline, good to see you. Oh, you hello, hello. Hi, hi, everybody. Oh, thank you so much for that entree. Um, Simone, it's just fantastic to be here. And I'm quite revved up myself. I'm really excited. Um, to be bringing something new and bringing something new to the Midlands as well. Um, so I, as Simone says, I'm Caroline Sylvia Rag. Um, I'm a very experienced marketing strategist, been, been around for a while. I'm not going to give my age away. Uh, but, uh, you know, I absolutely love connecting people, bringing people together and helping people get to the core of what's really, really important to themselves and their business. So, so the strategic elements are really there to support you, build those foundations, get that hardcore strategic approach into your business. Because without those foundations, you, you're not going to be able to set the scene to then grow and move forwards and, and connect and network with more people. So um, I'm delighted to be here. Well, I know a big part of your work is uh, connecting people and you're an incredible networker. Uh, you are fantastic and building a relationship with people, putting people in touch, uh, creating partnerships, which I know is a big part of uh, uh, what the event is, is, is also about. So I want to understand more from you about uh, how your network, in fact, think about a moment that your network played a pivotal role either in your life or in your business. I'm curious to hear the story around that. Okay, so networking has been part of my life for a long time, even in the corporate days, even in, you know, traveling around the world, um, supporting other businesses. Um, and networking is at the heart of meeting new people. And if you don't, excuse my language, get off your butt and go and do something to meet people, how are you going to grow your business? You can't sit behind you know, a screen all the time, although the screen has enabled us to connect with more people worldwide. And, you know, we can come on to that a little bit later on. Um, but my business and has been built upon my network and my con community and collaborations with people, because the way we grow our business is to build relationships. And I'm very, very passionate about building the right relationships um, and don't get me wrong, sometimes you meet people that you don't gel with or you sometimes you meet people that you probably will never do business with. But it's not always about that. It's about who do they know? Who can they refer you? Who can they connect you? And my my passion, my philosophy has always been not the pay it forwards, but to to connect people with good heart. And if I'm recommending somebody I'm also very passionate about my reputation because of the work that we've built up. So if I'm recommending people, it's somebody I've actually had a conversation with, a chat with, because to connect somebody to somebody I know and trust, that trust level is, is really important to build that relationship. So it's never just, oh, hey, you know, go and talk to so-and-so, go and talk to so-and-so. Um, it's really about building those special partnerships. So I actually take the time to do that, to find out more whether they're a good fit, 
with with somebody mm. and by the way that's not my business <laughs> this is just what I do naturally um because I love bringing people together but to come back to your question Simone about this because it's it's really really important for businesses who you know who want to grow an audience who want to you know establish um, more connections better connections in certain areas certain sectors is that my pivotal moment um happened um actually when i joined gtex <laughs> and and I, I know it's it's quite um you know a, a bit of a cliche i suppose because we're here and we're doing the podcast but you know it, the reality button hit when i realized that the work that i was doing not the networks because i was already networking the work that i was doing i needed to level up and i needed to level it up and i had rev up rev up is something else we'll talk about that another time but i needed to rev up myself my business and it wasn't until i actually realized that you can't do it all on your own you can't do it all on your own you need a team you need people around you you need your network you need your connections and it was at a particular event that I came to with GTEx that I realized, you know what, I'm just going to run with it. I'm just going to flow with it. And I'm just going to to take on board the fact that, yes, I admit I need some help. <laughs> and, uh, and and simply by doing that and investing in that and, and also saying yes, that to accept that moment skyrocketed my business because I, I opened up to using different strategies and techniques that I probably wouldn't have used without opening myself up, coming to a different event, coming to, to meet new people that I potentially wouldn't have met before. So the, there's the golden nugget. There's the golden nugget. Get yourself out there to meet more people because you never know. Who and, and like, but someone could say, you know, someone could say, uh, well, but I can meet people online. There are so many online networking events. Why should I come yeah. to a live event? What mm -hmm. would you say to that? Yeah, there are. And I and I think actually, you know, the, the past two years, two, three years with the pandemic and with what people have had to work online, we've had to keep the connections online. And 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 it's it's good to do online, but I can tell you now, I've experienced sitting online of an event for two or three days and it does nothing for your health it does nothing for your um you know posterior sitting down for, for hours and you know although you get to see people it's it, and you make those connections they're not as deep as what you would find when you actually see people in person and i absolutely love meeting people in person i know it's not possible if we've got people in Australia and Canada and America and, and it's not possible to meet people in person all the time. So in that respect, you can continue making those um, genuine connections with those people, keeping in touch, keeping in touch and having those conversations. So you can network online. Absolutely. I do it. But with an event, I think, you know, get on a plane, get on a train, you know, carbon footprint is a travel, get yourself out. This year, 2024 is a year to get out. Have you seen the explosion of events out there, Simone? Yeah, I've seen it. And in fact, uh, you know, there is nothing, I guess, much as, uh, um, you know, if online opens up to an entire world. Mm. The depth of connection, it mm. takes so much longer to build the same depth of relationship mm. online compared to offline. You know, I remember some events where you can go in and in after three, four hours, you're best friend with someone because yeah. you spend three, four hours yes. having a coffee, having a drink, something that is off script while what happens online is always on script there is always something which is an exercise there is nothing there is no space for that random connection the random person that you meet in the toilet that you meet while having a coffee and then sometimes these are the people that now you you know you partner up with and yeah. you create the stronger memories with and that's what i, I like I love it. And, you know, time permitting, I would love to travel around and see everybody that I meet online. 
Um, but the, but the beauty of the online network, and please don't think that I'm only going to build good relationships with people I meet in person. I have some fantastic relationships with people that I haven't even physically met. Um, and this can happen. But, you know, it comes on to that. Are you following up? Are you contacting people? And I, I had a conversation about this yesterday at another network, an online networking event, actually. And we actually said, you know, this old saying of the fortune is in the follow up. Mm -hmm. And we it's not a new thing. It's been around for a long time. But we're all guilty of not keeping in keeping in touch. And that applies to either in person or online. And I think one of the biggest marketing strategies out there and the best solutions for growing business and building an audience is to keep in touch and follow up. Those, those are definitely things I'm um, making a pact to do a lot more of this year because um, there's people I'm connecting with that I haven't seen in three, four years. Obviously, I haven't seen them in three or four years connected with. And it's just fantastic to find out, hey, what are you doing now? What, you know, is your business the same? Has your business changed? What's happening with your family? You know, how are you? You know, and, and without even discussing business, it's about finding out and rekindling those connections yes. with people that you know and and then if the business happens fantastic if it doesn't so what doesn't matter and this brings me to actually another question because uh, um it's still staying on the topic of networking you know there are people that network you you're an amazing networker and uh, you know the work that we've been doing in particular for like strategic partnerships setting up interactions tapping into the power of other communities uh, as a promotional tool like all that part which is so core to gtex and you've been an important you are an important part of that of that puzzle uh that's why because you do it naturally yes. but uh, how, there are a lot of people that network in the wrong way okay what mm -hmm. are some of the, when you're networking whether it's online or in person what are give me two or three no goes? It's like okay, you're just wasting your time if you do it this way. There is a better way to do it. Okay, all right. Well, the first thing that's come to my head is the old business card thrust. Um, so when you when you're networking in person, um, there's an old cliche, you know, people who are work in the room and just wanting to give out and hand out as many business cards as possible without you know having a conversation with with people that is really like you get home and you see that you think oh who were they you know they don't even have a photograph on the business card now that's I know that's another story I find that helps because you, oh yes I remember that person and blah, blah, blah. so it's what is visually what do you remember that that person with um, but but also um, c connecting, you know, with with people instead of um, whether it's on. I mean, online, the networkings are more structured. So you're probably put in a room with somebody in a breakout room that you might not have met before. You've got a limited time to get to know them. So the conversation there as a tip would be to make sure that you've got each other's contact details and then you can, again, follow up. Um, so that's important. Um, but in a bigger networking where you are in person, a great tip. And I found this again recently because I've relaxed a lot with networking. I've relaxed so much that I'm not worried if I don't speak to a lot of people in the room. You know, I went to a business net, um, exhibition last week. They have lots of networking opportunities and things there. But I focus on just chatting with a few people in depth and saying hello to some because you can't talk to everybody and just get to know those people, have those meaningful conversations with them um, and don't expect to work the room in a sense of a crazy salesman. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 not, it's not best practice, but you actually spend more time with a few pe fewer people. I said that is my number one tip. Um, but also, if you're new to networking, then don't be afraid to ask somebody or, you know, butt in a conversation, say, hey, you know, I'm new here. You know, can you show me the ropes? Can you help me? Um, and there's a lot of support now around networking. I think a lot of networking groups are very open to I love, this. I love what you said. I love what you said about getting people um, spending time, quality time. Um, mm. Because... Uh, 
that's uh, the purpose of networking networking done well and i think we've all done these mistakes where yeah. we think that networking is there to get clients no you're networking to expand your network of relevant contacts yes and then uh, if something happens it might be an introduction a connection mm -hmm. while you're building the relationship you don't know who they know no exactly and this is the magic know. that's the magic it's never about them it's about who they know who they can introduce you to we know about the power of referrals and referrals is the most magical it's when you've got your what i call i'm quite a holistic spiritual person by the way so i'm going to talk about oceans of abundance here and when we talk about oceans of abundance what we mean is your hot clients the clients that love you that work with you that have you had amazing results with you they are going to recommend you you know, so when you're in that in oceans of abundance, referrals come naturally. Therefore, your whole sales process happens naturally. So you're networking. It doesn't really matter if you network every day, every week or once a year. Make it on purpose. Make it on purpose to go out and make new friends. Who can you meet that you can get to know better? And it's never about yourself. It's always about how can you know, not how can I help you? What do you do? Okay. It's you know, how are you finding this event? You know, who uh -huh. you know, build those conversations. Um, interestingly, I had a I had a great conversation with um a business owner um last week at this exhibition, and um I was in the uh the sort of the executive lounge. I was um, you know, I went into there to um to just, you know, because they give you coffee and things like that. Um, because I made sure I got on the VIP list. <laughs> Um, but uh, anyway, it's who you know sometimes, <laughs> but uh, is making those connections. Um, and I was chatting to this gentleman and um, it turns out he was the owner of a, of a big company. I won't I won't say what what the company is here for confidentiality reasons. Um, but, you know, the conversation went quite naturally. And when we swapped cards at the end of the conversation, he actually said to me, this is only the second card I've given today. Mm -hmm. to me so I I think that tells a lot because I wasn't there to just thrust that business card or I wanted to have a chat with this person because I'd I'd seen their stand and I was interested in what they were doing and I was asking him questions about his business and himself and he warmed to me in that respect and I think if you warm to people in in those fields you're spending more time chatting but you are actually developing it to the point where um this gentleman's daughter who runs this business she's the marketing manager has actually booked a ticket to come to my event there you go there you go this is a brilliant example <laughs> of how like literally you natural conversations can lead to business in ways that uh, you you don't expect. So exactly. I'm curious now, talking about Rev Up Your Business Revamp, <laughs> which is going to be on the 18th of April uh, yes. in the Midlands, in Derby, in Derby. Yes. Uh, yes. I still need to find the right way to pronounce it, Derby, <laughs> in Derby. Just remember it's an A, not an E. It's an E, uh, but just in Derby. Exactly, exactly. That's how I get confused, <laughs> in Derby, in the UK. Uh, what uh, is the event focused on? Why have you decided to put this event uh, up? Okay, okay. Um, I mean, I mean, obviously, I love bringing people together, and the past couple of years for me have been quite difficult, um, recovering from health issues and um, not being able to get out as much, um, and you know, working online a lot. And I really, really felt that it was about time to bring people together to help them bring out that sparkle and shine, bring out that, you know, getting together, collaboration, inspiring, connecting. Um, and I've really sort of put my neck on the block and says, right, I'm doing this big event. I want to bring people together so they can be inspired, meet people that will inspire them and they can inspire others and meet others. So it is a personal development and business growth event. And nothing like this has happened before, especially in the Midlands. And we've picked Derbyshire because it is central to all the road networks around the Midlands, from even from London and all Manchester and all over the place. It's really easy location. Um, and, you know, 
if you're looking for opening those golden doors of opportunity for business, then this is the event to be at. You know, if you're looking to network with people, because that happens naturally at events anyway. And we've got a bit of a a bit of a game that we're going to do so that you can meet lots of people on the day. It's going to be exciting. I wanted to feature and bring key speakers as well who will add value and add a make because you're not going to hear from me all day. Um, I want to sort of collaborate and bring people together that will add that value, bring some sustenance to, you know, what, you know, personal development, because it's what we all need to focus on. We all need to continually develop ourselves. We're always learning as business owners and entrepreneurs, coaches, leaders, you know, what corporate professionals. And to then put in the, you know, the twist of the business growth, because you want to make more clients, you want to meet new clients, you want to develop new strategies that are going to help you grow into 24, 25, 26, you know, into 2020, 30. You know, you want to have that flow of new business. And I feel there's a spark of new energy that has appeared this year. And I want to be there. I want to be there to see everybody shine out loud and connect with more people with that passion so that it can align with clients that buy. So there's going to be marketing strategies, there's going to be business growth strategies, there's going to be growing communities, there's going to be a bit of spiritual connection as well, because we've got some amazing speakers coming. Um, but actually, don't be fooled because we have some hardcore um, tactics and tips for you as well, not to mention um, some fun lots of fun um and uh yeah i'm not gonna i'll try not to give too much if anyone away. knows i mean people will get to know you i recommend everyone to check out the event the links in in the show notes is a rev up your business revamp that's on the 18th of april i'll be speaking there in terms of how to build a, a community how to build and monetize a community that's going to be my topic but then nice. you can find this carolyn mentioned um anything that she does uh, the, mm -hmm. the events that she does they're incredible fun so if you want to have some fun meet some fantastic people learn some strategies and also grow yourself spiritually and on a personal level yeah. that's the event to be so check it out i want to wrap up with a, with a final question for you because uh, you know a lot of uh, events either they are focused on the personal or spiritual growth or they're focused on business there is yeah. not many events that combine uh, yeah. those two aspects why did you decide also to add the personal development the personal growth element to the event and also to the way that you work and your philosophy in business absolutely absolutely i think that that really comes from my personal journey and what we've had to go through and the obstacles and challenges that we've had to go through and what i've realized in order to be successful at business successful at growing your business you need to look at yourself and you need to look at you and whether you are into the you know, spiritual, it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's all woo woo and all of that. But it means that you need to look at what is the spirit of you, and what is important for you as a person. Um, and I've got a very special project that I've that I'm working on that you will find out at the event as well. Um, and really, it's it's to align that. So, so we talk a lot about visibility and alignment in business. Um, but if you're not aligned with your passion, with yourself, with what you are wanting to do in life, where you are at in life, because everybody has choices that we have choices, but sometimes they don't always go in in our favor. Um, but I wanted to bring something together that would encompass both. So people get that fulfillment. And it is about fulfillment in life and business. And without that, you know, divine intervention or spiritual spirituality uh, awareness of who you are, how can you be in a position to grow your business and be seen as a leader, as a coach, as a marketer, as a sales professional in your business? So I, I feel it's really integral. Yeah, they go hand in hand. They totally go hand in hand because you can only grow your business as much as you are grown as a, on a personal level. And uh, that's why it's important to work on both aspects. Uh, so make sure you get your ticket, rev up your business revamp. The link is in the description or the show notes, depending if you're watching this on YouTube or uh, on our website or listening uh, or, or listening on our on uh, your favorite podcasting platform. But make sure you check it out. I'll be there 18th of April. Uh, the links uh, and all the details of the events and also the sponsorship packages are on the website. It's in rev up your business revamp. 
Caroline, it has been incredible having you here. First of all, I'm excited about the event because uh, I know this has been in the making for a while. So yes. I cannot wait, I cannot that. wait to be there, cannot wait to see it happening. And also personal thank you for all for being a pillar of GTEx. You know, for people that don't know, Caroline wears many hats. She helps with uh, with the sales. She helps with definitely the marketing coaching and coaching our clients on a marketing, sales, and strategic level. And then on top of that, all the partnerships that she was able to create for GTEx have been invaluable. And so that's why I wanted to get your ticket, come meet Caroline, because she can be an asset like it is an asset for GTEx. She can definitely be an asset for you and your business. So thank you, Caroline. Cannot wait to be the event. Thank you so much. And the early bird tickets are still there. They're still available. So get it. Get grab it. it. Get it now. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next episode. Always remember to subscribe and leave us a good review. I'll see you next time. And always remember that together we grow exponentially. Ciao. Bye.